Well, it certainly is hot out there. There's no mistaking that. And as you look about the state of Florida, you can see that we don't have anything to cool us off. There's no rain. There aren't any fronts coming. We're sitting under high pressure right now, and that high pressure system is basically acting as our fair weather friend. And we're seeing hot temperatures all across the southeast and the entire state of Florida. We are all looking at readings for the most part in the 90s with no rain around. The cloud activity is pretty well over as well. So we're just getting partly cloudy skies for the most part. But that temperature reading of 91 degrees is still going up. So we've got high, hu uh, high dew points, high humidity, winds coming in out of the west southwest at around 8 miles per hour. And as you can see all around the state, it really doesn't matter where you go. You're either at 89 degrees or 90, 91 degrees across our area into the interior parts of the state. Temperatures are in the low 90s. And as you can see right here along the beaches, that's where we're starting to see a little bit of cooling in Anna Maria and Longboat Key. It's 85 and 86 degrees there. Englewood reporting 88 degrees. So you've got to head to the beach in order to cool off. That's just the way it is. And once again, that high pressure system is going to sit on top of us for the next couple of days, and it's going to provide some real heat for us over the next upcoming days. It's also going to keep those rain chances low. So what we're going to be seeing not only today and tomorrow is the rain chances will stay at around 20 percent and then that hot and sticky weather that you have because of the high dew point levels will be around as well. And it doesn't matter what time of the day you leave the house. It's going to be something that you're going to feel all day long. So make sure your air conditionings are in good working system, good working order because you're going to need it. With that high index, that combination of heat and humidity, we're going to be getting those feels like temperatures of about 105 today. So this is what we can expect for tomorrow. As you can see, by 9 o'clock uh, Tuesday tonight, we're going to be seeing some of these showers hitting the central part of the state and making a movement towards the coastline and then kind of skirting on up the coastline in a clockwise direction. And then we also see some of the rain showers moving in over the northern sections of Florida by Wednesday afternoon. But we're getting large stretches of no rain at all across central Florida for the nighttime hours and into the early morning time period. And then once again, we continue to see very dry conditions for Thursday. As far as the Atlantic is concerned, it's still very quiet out there. We have a series of high pressure systems that are out there, and that is what is providing the fair skies that we're seeing and no opportunity for development in the Caribbean and also the Gulf of Mexico, which is very quiet. If you're heading out to the beach, we saw that Anna Maria and Longboat Key was a little bit cooler, but we're still looking up those those winds coming in out of the southeast and then shifting around to the southwest later on today at around 10 knots. Seas one to two feet with a light chop out on the bay and inland waters. The Gulf water temperature now 90 degrees. That's not very comfortable, but it's fine for Floridians like me. I don't mind the warm water temperatures. It's the air temperatures wherever you go that are still pretty high. So this morning and tomorrow morning, we're going to be seeing pretty much the same type of thing with temperatures in the 80s. And then later on this afternoon, we warm up to that reading of 93 degrees. And we keep those temperatures warm all the way through Friday with a 20% chance of rain each and every day through Friday. And then we move those rain chances up on Sunday and Monday.